Is it working? What is going on? Why are you doing this to me? Right. Looks like we're working. Hey guys, sorry. Technical difficulties. I keep trying to set up the uh, schedule thing, but whenever I press start stream, it doesn't want to work. So my sincere apologies for messing up. Uh, we're a little bit late for getting into this race now, so bear with me. Hopefully you can hear me all alright, everything's okay, let me know. <sighs> right, okay. Hey Joshy! Um, just trying to get into this race quick, bear with me. Uh, split one, split one, split one, connect. Ah, right, hopefully we're live, everything's good. Oh, it's at night time. Hmm. Right, okay, temps are right down. So load setup, I agree with that one, load. Do apologize guys for messing around probably got a ton of notifications then saying i'm going live my I, i'm going to stop doing the schedule thing until i figure it out and i can't quite fathom out why it's not working properly hey patrick good day hope you're well um i'm going to put the wheel for its paces see what happens uh because i need to record it to be able to report back if there are any issues but i've had a little play this morning i've rearranged everything i've unplugged everything i've used different sockets i've double checked there's no static build up i've put the power unit now on the desk instead of hanging it on the floor i've done everything i can to make this thing work so fingers crossed um it works so i've just got to close the curtains because i can't see my screen at night time so bear with me Hopefully you guys can still see me from the light coming in from the kitchen. I can now see the screen. We are good to go. So thanks for joining guys. Um, it's Monza, so it's not the most entertaining track. Um, let me know on levels. Hopefully everything's all right for you. If it's a little bit high, uh, which it might be, bear with me. There's one other thing I need to do, uh, crew chief. Sorry guys, a little bit rushed because it was all messing up. Right, crew chief, crew chief, crew chief, crew chief is on. Double check it's just working. Radio check. Potter, radio check. Which it is. If you can let me know on the levels, guys, uh, be very much appreciated. I hope you enjoy this little bit of uh, racing fun. We'll see what happens at night time. Uh, I'm not that quick at the minute because I haven't raced Monza in quite some time. So it's uh, just getting used to it again. We'll see. I'm in the 148s, which is about second and a half, two seconds off the pace. Uh, quite nice at night time actually it, it brings a whole new skill level to the game and if I don't talk too much it's purely because I'm concentrating guys not ignoring you Ooh, as you can see his way. So I had a couple of races earlier, um, but they were in the daytime, so I've just got to get used to everything at night. I've put the transfer rate 
at 50 megabyte so hopefully the picture is amazing for you gonna let this guy pass and the other guy oh perfect there we go that was my bad Uh bother me about concentrating guys Trying to stay out of the way at the minute. Right, we didn't see that, that didn't happen. What I want to do, I'm going to let a load of people pass. I'm going to let all these guys pass because there's a nice gap after number 10. Huge gap. Come on, guys. My apologies to that Ferrari. Just rushing. Let these two guys go, and then I can just do what I need to do. Feel a little bit embarrassed after that. Sorry. <laughs> Oh well, I'll send him a message after. off a bit because I don't want to keep catching up with these guys. Oh, not a great start, eh? Let's go, guys. Come on.
too early on the brakes there, but hey. Okay, we're not that quick. We're not that quick. And I went off track and got myself some safety points. Yay! Need to find out who that Ferrari was quick and send him an apologies. Replay. Where was it? Where was it? was it? Ah, oh, oh well, I tried. Oh well, here's what it is. Um, I just need to move my panels around just so I can see your messages, guys. Uh, yeah, all open, well, well, I wouldn't say open world, but it's um, all, um, what's call it, live racing. Uh, so these are all human beings. That's why I was a little bit apologetic. My apologies. Um, I'm just going to go with it because it's at night time. Breaking points are a little bit harder to see and stuff like that. So we, we, we will see. Um, I really didn't mean to hit that Ferrari then, so... But we're rated 16th, qualified 19th. I should have been at least where are we? a second quicker uh, in the daylight. So I would have been about 11th. I mean, I don't know how they do 146.3s. I mean, it's just insane. But anyway, it's what it is. We'll see what happens, guys. Um, let's go back to setup. I do need to change the fuel because I nearly ran out in the last race. Because it's such high acceleration and speed, so we're good on that. Fine, nine point seven. Let's just try a little bit less. Uh, good there. Fine. Some trucks. We'll just go with it. See what happens. <laughs> excuse me but yeah i hope to be back later again like guys with uh planet coaster um i just trying to figure out why this keeps doing what it's doing um but we will see we'll see what happens sorry used to looking that way i i 
if you don't get your braking right, it's such a hard track to race on. Um, but sometimes you have some great racing. So I haven't had a headache all morning, guys. So my apologies if I don't look the happiest. It's one of those just sitting there, which is annoying. So my apologies. Uh, but let's see what happens. Go from there. Um, basically, I want to get me ELO up, which is me rating and me safety rating. So you might find I'll just let people pass if they're a bit quicker than me. Um, but I won't be going for stupid overtakes. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It does look good. I do love this 4080 graphics card. I mean, I, I'm running a 74 frames a second in 4K on ultra graphics, so not bad. That's more down to the server as well. Um, but we're, we're looking good, so I don't want to get a drive through on the start off like I did in the last race, so let's slow down. Let's go, let's go. Do I or don't I enter T1? Let's just do it. He's backing off. He's thinking better of it. No! Not even my fault, that one. I can't believe it. No shit, Sherlock. Fucking wankers. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry for swearing, guys. That's just ruined my whole race, so I've now got to spend 25 minutes. Ugh. There I was, taking it easy, trying to make it work into T1, bloke in the front hits someone and then I hit him. And then there, I get whacked up the backside. Sorry for the language, guys. Sim racing. So I got no, I got nothing. Uh, I'm going to have to pit. Watch your speed. Ah, great start. Sorry, guys. What a shit show. This is why I don't enjoy this track. That's why I don't enjoy this truck. So what we'll do, we'll get this fixed. 16 seconds of damage, we'll get that done. And then basically we'll just go help a lever, which will improve my safety rating. Um, and then if any of them come off track and we gain some space, gain some places, yay. But that's why I don't enjoy this track, because you've got people that just don't know how to drive. Ah, anyway, steering wheel's holding out. What's up? Near enough as bad as Planko Paving.
Well, welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for joining. We're having a bit of a shit show here. Um, got here up the backside. And yes, I know I'm last, Jim. Thanks very much. Don't need to be told. And I've had to pit because of damage. Because there is literally, on this track, no point going around with any damage because your straight line speed is just absolutely knackered. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens, basically. We'll just basically use this as a practice for the next couple of races. Uh, and then go from there, really. Okay, Ryan, the next car is Gomez, yellow flag, sector three. The front tyres are cold. Not the best time of day to practice, to be perfectly honest with you. Temperatures are terrible. Yeah, I won't be catching up with them, mate, unless they make a load of mistakes, unfortunately. But appreciate the comment. <laughs> I mean, he's catching me at two seconds a lap. So, well, four seconds a lap, actually. Cheers, Jeff. Not the only good thing. Hey Tom, how you doing fella? No, I had a great start to this race. Had someone hit someone in front of me and I plowed up to the back of them, which done my front diffuser in. And then uh, the chicane we just went through, I got smashed up the backside. So I had to pit. And I'm, it, it's dark, I'm, I haven't practiced enough, and uh, yeah, roll on the next race, basically. <laughs> Had a little bit of an F and a Jeff, but hey, it is what it is. Real world racing on simming. The worst form. 
Yeah, no, I can jet. Anyway, it's what it is, guys. So look at that, half a second in one braking zone we can make up. Hope so. Right it's only 18 degrees, Jim. Give me a break. Sort out my break in in that chicane. I'm losing a load of time. Cheers for watching guys, it is appreciated. I know it's not Planko, there will be Planko still later today. I just need to try and get this wheel working 100% and figure out why, what, where, why I'm having the issues I'm having.
I'm finally down in the 148, so hopefully if I can get these next few corners right. It'll be lapped in a minute though. Oh, far too early. Never messed it up anyway.
Alright, let's see. This is first place. So let's see why he's so quick. I can stick with him. Carrying so much more speed through the corners, that's the problem, that's where I'm struggling. to 18th. So we're going to take another one. Seventeenth. Yeah, probably. Oh, do you? I'm picking up speed now. I'm getting into the river myself. It'd be lovely to get into a 147. It really, really would. Oopsie. Scrub the 147. <laughs> What really doesn't help with this track though is the temperature and the fact that we're on 18 degrees track and air. It's so hard to get the temperatures up. That's the reason why the car's not turning. You can see the tyre indicator, bottom right hand side of the screen. Um, they're blue on the outer edge, so every single time I turn, I've got no grip. So, hotter the better on this track. Because there's hardly any cornering, most of it's straight line speed, so it's hard to keep the tyres uh, up to temperature. PSI's are all good, but I just haven't got any temp. Because that also comes into effect when you brake. Um, if you haven't got tyre temperature, the, the tyres just don't want to grip. That's the reason why I'm so pensive going into some corners because I've just got nothing. And again, that comes down to setup as well. So the temperature makes a massive difference. A massive difference on this particular track. And I'm hoping next race they're up a little bit more and I can show you that because the race I had earlier a uh, similar thing happened I got hit off so I had to pit and uh, but I think it was about 27 air temperature 34 track temperature you just have so much more grip 
and then because you're running a lot less aero you don't rely on the downforce to uh, get you through the corners but hopefully a safety rating will go through the roof on that one um, subject to the first lap I had no off track incidents so um, don't those fireworks look good so yeah so we'll just we'll have a look at the replay so let's just back it up a tad so this guy here hit and then didn't move what what am i supposed to do there howdy oppo how you doing buddy but that was the beginning of my race so i took it you, you watch me come into this corner slowed right down everyone's doing their thing i've stayed well back and then what what am i supposed to do that then has messed up the front of my car so my excuse me my um aero's down which means top speed is down and then as we come into this corner i'm slowing down with the bmw not looking to rotate and the guy behind me messes up my rear aero so now one i'm lacking downforce which you would think would make you go faster in a straight line but it doesn't because the aero is all mashed up so basically it slows you down so you've got a pit otherwise there's no point carrying on because you'll be two three seconds a lap slower than you already are so it's it's frustrating <laughs> but and then obviously we had a very lonely race thereafter um but the visuals look good fingers crossed for the next one eh guys <laughs> it's just typical car oh, looks good though with the pink neons down the side quite like that my design by the way this look kind of went for the half golf colors um yeah actually I, I was quite smooth after that have you watched the gran turismo movie yet yes i have seen the gran turismo movie my personal thoughts on that movie are the actors in it from previous history i thought would make it a great film um but for a film buff I'll put it about 70%. I wouldn't say it was the perfect film. It was a very, very good film. I, I enjoyed watching it. But what I found was it was more... I don't know. It, there were just bits of it. I kind of sat there and went, why have they done it like that? But if you love Gran Turismo and you're massively into Gran Turismo, I bet you absolutely love it. Because the way it was kind of put together is how the game's put together. So that's my personal opinion. But that's that's kind of where I think it sits. I think it's it's a cool film, but I wouldn't say it's um, the best film I've ever seen in respect of a racing film. But the young lad that played Mr. Man uh, was pretty cool. Um, it was well acted. I love the crew chief. Can't remember his name because I love him from Stranger Things. Um, Orlando Bloom. I'm always up and down with Orlando Bloom, and the reason being, it always fits. Out. Sounds as though he's putting on a, a fake voice, if you know what I mean. Um, but it, it was good. It, it was good. It, you know, I don't need to watch it again. That's kind of what the film was for me. Um, have you guys seen Rush? Because that film, if you want to watch a racing film, that film with the James Hunt, Nicky Lauder from the, I think it was... 60s 70s or 70s and 80s can't quite remember the actual era 70s 80s i think um very very good film well put together um it was made by richie from happy days if anybody knows happy days i can't remember the gentleman's name the director he made apollo 13 as well and he's very factually correct to how he does his films and um when you watch that film with uh what's his name i can't remember Thor. Oh, what's his name? I really like the bloke. Chris. Is it Chris? 
Hemsworth, I think. Thor. Whoever plays Thor. Um, brilliant, brilliant film. And even the guy that played Nicky Lauda played Nicky Lauda so, so well. When you see the real footage of Nicky Lauda from the early days when he had his accident and everything. Ron Howard, there you go. Ron Howard was the director. Yep. Uh, Ford versus Ferrari. That film, bang on. And Christian Bale playing what's his face i can't remember the, the the original guy's name oh i only saw a picture yesterday of the original guy chris hemsworth yeah chris hemsworth in rush brilliant film absolutely brilliant film and ron howard directing it made that film as far as i'm concerned just the way it was the thing i didn't like the the major thing i didn't like about gran turismo is the fact that they used the hungaro ring for 99% of all the racing footage. And if you know your tracks and you are a racing buff like I am, okay, I felt really uncomfortable because they're trying to show the races from uh, the Nordish life, yet they're showing the hairpins of the bits before you come onto the main straight of the Hungaro ring and going forwards and backwards, trying to make it look as though it's that track. <laughs> And I sat there and it literally happened and I thought to myself, thought, this has just ruined this film now because there's no continuity. They're showing the Nordish life, but the actual on-track action and there's bits where you go through the S section just before you come to those hairpin sections at the Hungaro ring where they're showing the cars digitally going down a straight on Nordish life, yet they then cut to a, a camera looking at the track with them going through this S section and I just sat there and I was like, that's where they've cut corners. And that's why it's not the film I wanted it to be. Because you can't do that. If, if you're trying to portray a racing film to racing fans, it needs to be, one, factually correct. And unfortunately, it just... If anyone's seen it, you'll, you'll agree with me if you're, if you're a bit of a racing buff. Um, but Rush, brilliant film. Um, what was the other one we were just about to talk about? totally lost uh ford ferrari that film was so well made i can watch it four times a day i i love that film the story um the relationship between matt damon and christian bale obviously carol shelby and i can't remember the test driver's name for the life of me worst thing is i know it i just can't remember it um but the whole film the way it was filmed everything like that and what's what a sad ending i mean such a sad ending how how he lost his life but and um how many times was he done over by ford you know won le mans yet still didn't win le mans because apparently there's a rule where it's about distance i thought le mans was about once the clock starts and the clock finishes whoever crosses that line is is the winner um and the fact that he backed off when he was a lap ahead for the other two to catch up with him. Ken Miles, there you go, yeah, Ken Miles. Christian Pale, if you actually have a look and search for Ken Miles, photos of Ken Miles against Christian Bale, they look exactly the same. And if you can find any uh, video footage of Ken Miles from real life, it's Silver Dream Racer. No, no, I haven't seen that. If any of you are into two-wheel action... It's quite quite an old... It's, it's a documentary film, so it's more of a documentary than it is a film, but it's about an hour and a half, two hours long. It's called Speed, and basically it's all about Guy Martin and a number of other motorcycle racers from the Isle of Man TT. And you want to watch something that is extremely true to real life? Phenomenal film phenomenal film um yeah but ken miles he they're the people i admire from racing because they're the people that make what you see on tv happen and you know that whole film about ford versus ferrari the whole film was about him being able to achieve what he's never been able to do and that was race at le mans and he got there and he won it on merit nothing else purely on merit yeah got taken away from him 
But yeah, Tom, if you haven't seen it, search for a film called Speed. And it's kind of the early days of Guy Martin in respect of his television kind of career. Um, but it's got everybody in it. Dunlop, um, I'm trying to remember the other guys. There's a real tall guy. And basically, he's going up through the hills, flat out. I mean, he's doing... 150 160 mile an hour banked right over sweeping through these bits and you've got the helicopter cam following it i don't want to say too much but it literally i think he just hits a white line and basically the bike just goes and he's doing about 160 miles an hour and basically all it is in isle of man is old you know slate made walls um and basically I don't mean to talk too graphically, but the bike hits it, gets obliterated, and he hits it, cartwheels through the air, and goes about, must be about 200, 250 foot cartwheeling through the field, then hits a uh, mesh fence in the middle of the field, and then that flips him up, and it's not the fact that I enjoyed it from the point of view that it was about gore and people being hurt because i know that's what a lot of people enjoy it was how raw the actual documentary was and you see it from their eyes even though it's a lot of it's the same footage you see off tv um, but it just blew my mind and from a racing documentary point of view you can forget your netflix bloody drive to survive that's a pile of poo um 95% of Drive to Survive, okay, just putting this on the record, is not real to what actually happens. It's just all glorified to make it make it watchable for the bigger picture of audience that now follows Formula 1. But if you watch stuff like uh, like that, Speed, you actually get to see the raw material and the raw feelings of everybody involved. And it's just heat of the moment, unbelievable detail but speed uh silver dream racer is my son uh, I, I vaguely remember that film does it uh the, the the bike is silver if i remember correctly and is does he always wear black leathers and i think the testing is done on a wide shot runway i think it's on runways and i think at the end doesn't he pass away as well if I remember rightly, I can't. I remember watching something when I was young, and it was a silver bike, and he wore black overalls and a black helmet. And I remember it being epic, but I don't. I don't remember anything apart from the bits where he was testing the bike. I'm pretty sure that's that's that film, Joshy. Um, you need to let me know. But yeah, it's, it's stuff like Isle of Man TT. You, you cannot. You cannot glorify that. Because you have to have balls of steel. Balls of steel. And to put into context, I don't get on two wheels. And the reason why I don't get on two wheels... one, I, I, It is a dream of mine. I'd love to have a motorbike. But one on the road is everybody else. It's not you. It's everybody else. Because you're in control of your destiny. So if you drive fast, you're an idiot. If you bank around a corner and there's a car coming and you go out wide and you go underneath it, you're an idiot. Save it for the track. Um, but what I mean by it is I've only ever been on two wheels once. Once. And that was a moped. Over in Corfu when I was 18. And I literally was doing about 15 miles an hour. And I let off to go into this corner and the thing just went from underneath me. And in 26 years, I have never wanted to get on a set of two wheels on the road again. I would love to go to a racetrack, say like Silverstone, and just go round on a 125 just to get me bearings, understand it, see where the grip levels are, go to a 250, and then maybe a 500, you know, and just see and experience that thrill that so many people have. But out on the open road, it's bad enough driving nowadays four wheels let alone two wheels out in the open road and there are times at the weekends when i'm driving around and the thing is with a cardo what they try and do 
is get you to drive as many country roads as possible because one it's a shorter distance point to point which ultimately saves fuel um and two you're not in traffic so you get your day done right and quick but it's so dangerous so so dangerous at the weekends because people are out on their motorbikes and they are driving like hooligans literally hooligans and it's not because i'm old even if i was 18 i'd be saying exactly the same thing they're absolute idiots do you know how much it is to go and ride a bike or a car on a track on a track day it's like 80 quid for the whole day so all you've got is cost of fuel and 80 quid now if 80 quid saves your life surely that's that's a really reasonable option to go and do that i don't mean to sound so i'm an old idiot and that i'm going off on one it's just do it in a controlled manner that's all i have to say about motorbikes but going back a step man T, the isle of man tt unbelievable and i wish i had the time to watch it every year but i i never know when it's on i've never really kind of got into it um yep silver bike back overall so that was the film then so i need to search that up silver dream racer i think he has a love affair in it as well isn't it there's there's a woman that supports him the whole way through um but yeah it's not actually that expensive to go to an open day track day so for instance silverstone do it you can go to silverstone's website i think it may be about 130 quid now roughly to take your car on track but you you get there at eight o'clock in the morning and you can literally be there till four five six o'clock in the evening and you could do 100 laps you could do 10 laps you know it all depends what you want to do because obviously the more you do the more you're ruining your tires the more fuel you're using the more wear you're putting on the car whatever that be i mean my ambition would be uh, oh shit i need to get my next race um my ambition would be to just go and get like a little tin cup car something like a little i don't know fiesta strip it out um make it light as can be stick a two litre engine in it and basically go track day in every other month doesn't have to be every week just every other month and just go out and do it but it's the cost of it tires you know you'll pretty much go through a set of tires in a day easily um you know that's three four hundred quid clutches you know and then suspension over time you know and you need a car that is viably usable in that situation so you can't go and buy yourself a 20 year old fiesta that's a rust bucket because if you go into a corner too hard it will fall apart literally um oh we got some nice track temperatures at least in this one um so yeah it's I, I if i could i would be on a track every other weekend um but that's why i got this and why i get so upset with this when it goes wrong because it's frustrating let's go with that i'll set up brakes three three oh no hold on need to change i need to go that one four three and see what happens uh tire pressures three um but yeah I, you know i'd love all that but it's uh that's kind of why i got this because the way i looked at it thousand pounds over 10 years is a hundred quid a year um i used to love go-karting but I had an email through the other day because it's obviously my birthday tomorrow and they said buy one get one free so basically what I used to do in the past with my friend was we'd pay half each so we'd go and do racing but it used to be about 80 quid so 40 quid each for 40 50 minutes of track time it's now 175 pounds for 50 minutes of track time in a go-kart that could break down at any time because they're not maintained properly again another reason why i bought this because if i want to race a go-kart i can just run it up a go-kart and go to a race around the track and it doesn't cost me anything so frustrating but yeah 
Death of uh, David Essex to star. Yeah, Joshy, that is the film then. I, I need to search that up because I remember it being a good film. I'll probably watch it now and go, but I, I, I don't know. I just remember having an epic soundtrack as well. The, the song in it, I can't remember what song it is, but it starts and it ends with the same song, if I remember rightly. Right, where are we? Got someone coming. Let them go. Don't hit them this time. There we go. Right. Let's do this thing, guys. Let's see what happens. But yeah, no, Rush, Ford Ferrari. I'm not really looking forward to this new Formula One film with Brad Pitt. I, I think, I don't think it's going to be any good. I really don't. Because I was at Silverstone when they did the um, filming and I was watching the cars go round. And it's all going to be digitally done. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, they started track or something start the race or something with the other cars but they turned off on the first corner um but i think it's just going to be too hollywood you know but we'll see and i couldn't care if lewis hammond's got anything to do with it to be perfectly honest with you because that's not why i like him as i said many a times it's for what he does on track but recently obviously he hasn't done much on track No, yeah, I, I, I do like my films. I, I've really got to bring the TV downstairs to um, watch Oppenheimer. Apparently it's a bit of a Pearl Harbor-esque kind of vibe to it. Right. We're a bit low on tyre pressures now, so... Let's see what happens, guys. We're 19th rated. Too early on the brakes. Again. grip on the front because tyre pressures are down. Make a little change before we start the race. Everybody's having a similar issue.
seconds. Tire pressures are down on the front, guys. Right, I'll tell you what, let's try something a little bit different here. Move the brake balance forward to tab. Let this guy pass. Feels much better. Cheers, Patrick. I'll hopefully catch you all later with the uh, Planet Coaster. Put me right off that guy coming out of the pits there because I thought he was going to get in my way. Ugh.
So out those front tire pressures, that was the issue. We'll be out to see the three, so one, two, three, four. The track one, two, temp three, is four. 47, the air temp is 24 Celsius. Okay. Right. Fuel. Right, let's see what happens, guys. My apologies. It's, like I say, I'm not that great at this track. Um, it's difficult to get into a flow. But... Right, let's see what happens, guys. Fingers crossed we can actually get through the first few corners. <laughs> right, Tom. <laughs> I want to get through the first lap with no damage. So what I might do is do what some of the sensible people do. Back off, go to the back. Um... I do just need to double check is my result from last time. Yeah, not great. And I got a message from somebody. So sorry for contact on the first lap. Yeah, right. We need to follow car number zero six in the left column. Great start, guys. All right, clear right.
Well, at least we're not lap down having to pit. That's the main thing. My no problem is I'm following someone with really bad ping. You know, places like there's no tomorrow. We're with the pack, we're not we're not a million miles away. Just takes a load of them to make a load of mistakes, which they do. As long as we can stay with them, that's the main thing.
so slow in the straight line, I don't know why. That doesn't help. Yeah, I get a penalty warning for him hitting me up the arse. Hey, Carlos, you are, dude. Hello guys, up to 13, just because I've stayed safe.
Whoa. I mean, I'm blown away because I'm struggling to get around those corners, braking at the times I'm braking. Yet they're totally over braking me. One gun. trying to keep the safety rating up guys so I don't want to I don't want to put myself in positions where I'm killing myself basically
Yeah, it took a little bit too much curve there, basically, on that last lap. But, we gained a place back. Bye bye. Cheers, buddy. It happens every now and then. Like I said, it's not a track I uh, enjoy because to me it's just squirt, break, squirt, break, squirt, break. It's just, there's, there's no massive skill to it. It's just about getting your break in there. Bye bye, my friend. You run out of talent. And do you know what's really friggin' annoying? The steering wheel's doing absolutely fine. Not missed a beat once. Here's Jeff. Oh. I ran out of talent. Two more laps to go, we've only got two more laps of fuel, two and a half laps of fuel. Hey Darren, how you doing buddy? Too many corners getting it wrong, yeah. Oh. 
Well, I prefer cars where you got, uh, tracks where you got sweeping corners and past corners. This, this, this track just bores me, to be honest. But we're safe, we're a safe 13th, considering we qualify at the back. Oh, I can imagine he wasn't. We're running on fumes, mate. Nah, Jochi, well, you know, these things happen. I've made a couple of mistakes. It happens, but it's about keeping it going. Keeping it going. Come on, this is a half decent result actually, considering. Am I going to finish though? Fuel 4.8 litres, yep we're going to finish. What's my favourite track to race? Um, I, I have loads actually that I really enjoy. I love Suzuka, Silverstone, um, Zolder. I do like Zolder. That's a great little track to race on this. Um, Hi Lamy from last week. That was all right. Not too bad. Um, I like Donington. Really long sweeping bends on that one. Um, Brands Hatch is all right. You know, I, I I enjoy all tracks. I just find tracks like this where it's, I mean, what? There's only one, two. There's three bends where you're going fast. If you know what I mean. The two. I can't remember what they call it, Ascari, I think it is, and the Parabolica at the end of the lap. And the rest of it is straight line, brake, chicane, brake, chicane, brake, chicane, and it is, it's, you know, here's what it is. Um, I prefer this track in Formula One games. Hungaro Ring's one of my faves. Um, I have a good setup on that, actually, and I'm pretty good. I've won a few races. If you go back through my streams, there's uh, a couple of streams where I was there. So that wasn't too bad in the end, considering my lap times were pretty diabolical, to be honest with you. Uh, where was I? Race. You know, I never did a 148, and I did three mishaps, so I'm going to get penalised for that. But I had 27 kilos over and above. That's why I'm not fast, because the BOP changes everything. Um, set up, let's just save that, was that 23, 24, 27, 23, 25. So, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there, I'm actually happy with that result, considering we qualified, I think it was, what, 19th, I think, in the end, um, that, that weren't too bad. But like I say, this game is funny because you don't actually have to be quick. So I was second to last. I was 19th on, uh, oh, I was what, 20, 21st. But look at them all. Look at them all. And that held me up. 
So imagine where I'd have been if I hadn't got stuck behind that Aston. You know? But um, it's, it's funny because this game, like I was saying, you don't actually have to be quick. As long as you're consistent and keep it going in the same direction, you can finish a lot further up the field. And it's it's really odd. But it's not odd. It's the fact that people just overdrive the cars. And you don't need to overdrive the car. If you get the setup right and you get the tyre pressures right and the temperatures stay up like they did in that race, Granted, I wasn't that quick, um, but I was just basically just trying to keep the thing on track because I thought to myself, there's so many people going off, there's so many people spinning off, might as well just try and keep it on track. And lo and behold, we finished 13th from starting at the back of the grid. So in some respects, I'm hoping that... Uh, I hope the quality is very good for you guys, by the way, because I'm transmitting at 50 megabytes a second. So hopefully you're getting some really good quality uh, video here. Uh, where was I? Let's have a look. Close. Ratings. Shocking result again. Or was that the last race? Oh, that, was a, that was the last race. Just waiting for the next one to come in. But again, like I say, it's not a track that I enjoy. Um, I prefer racier tracks, ones where it actually takes more skill. Uh, so we've got one more race in the novices. We're actually, believe it or not, my rating now, I'm at a C2 safety. So I've actually gone up a group um, into the semi-pros, I think. Yeah, semi-pro category, so same track, but we could, if we wanted to, in 50 minutes time, we could join a race with a pit stop at Kota, and I don't mind a bit of Kota, I actually enjoy that, or we could just do one more race and see what happens, basically. Uh... Nice picture, Darren. I see what you mean now, dude. Looks good. That would actually look quite good on a, on a NASCAR, mate. Just going to restart Crew Chief. Um, but yeah, no, it's that, that wasn't a too bad a result. I'm happy with that one, to be perfectly honest. Um, just still waiting for it to come in. Still waiting. But yeah, we had a couple of good overtakes there into T1. That that overtake was quite nice. And I figured out my issue with the brakes. I'm not braking hard enough on the load cell pedal. So basically I'm I'm trying to Excuse me. Still not sleeping very well, guys, even though I had eleven hours last night. I just can't get comfortable at the minute. Um where was I? I'm not using the load cell enough, so I'm, I'm braking full power. But what you tend to find with load cell pedals is you, you push it all the way to the bottom, but then you have to push that little bit harder to activate the load cell to really get the brakes pumping. So probably the last two races, I've been at about 80% brake pressure. Um, and I noticed there in the last couple of laps that if I use the load cell a little bit better, I can brake it a lot later and harder. So. Uh, again, it's just consistency, getting used to it, uh, and building up that knowledge of how the track reacts. Because most tracks, you don't actually have to use the load cell, because you're not braking from two, like 180 miles an hour to five. You know, it's a totally different way of driving on other tracks. You're kind of just smooth on the brakes and stuff. Um, but the setup's not quite right. The car's not turning when I want it to. So it's frustrating. I'm not quick in a straight line, which is obvious. Now that look good. I went for a matte finish on the paint job. I feel it's quite nice. 
so you don't get any reflections. I must admit, it is a bloody good looking game, isn't it? Right, where are we? We are five minutes away, so I'm just going to leave you with this for a couple of minutes, guys. I'm just going to go for a quick pit stop. I'll be back in just a mo. Thanks for joining in again. Really appreciate it. I know it's not Planko, but like I say, this is my other hobby. This is what I love, and touch wood today at the moment, this hasn't gone wrong. So maybe I don't need to sell it or chuck it back through their front window.
Right then. Well, I've tried playing Formula One, um, but the steering wheel's been a bit temperamental on it. So I've got F1 21 and 23 and 2020, I think. Um, but I've been. It's, it's funny because this steering wheel, problem is with it, the paddles, they're not magnetic paddles. So when you change gear, it's spring. So you have to wait for it to pop back out. So when you're playing the Formula One games and you're trying to break down to a tight corner, you can't downshift quick enough. So providing this stays somewhat stable over the next month or two, um, I'll upgrade to the 488 GT3 wheel if it stays reliable. Um, that has the magnetic pedals, so I'll be able to do the click, 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 click downshift. So, one that will improve this as well, because when I've been breaking, as you can see in the picture right now, down to these chicanes, I'm having to downshift twice and then kind of wait just a tad to be able to downshift again because I can't get the gears to change down quick enough uh, for the way I, I drive. So that's the only limitation I have on the F1 games. Plus, the last time I played the F1 games, literally I did one lap and the steering wheel failed on me four times. Um, so I kind of just went, I ain't playing it anymore. <laughs> um, so hopefully, now that I've rearranged everything, disconnected things, changed the ports over... You know, we're two, what, two hours in now and it hasn't missed a beat. And I did two races before, pardon that, two races before. Oh, yeah, they don't. Um, right, we've got the next race, guys. Um, hopefully, right, results from the last race were increase of two points on my ELO, increase of... 27 on my safety rating that was because I had three off track incidents so if you go off track that also uh, affects your safety rating but safety rating now is going up the advantage is I can actually take part in the Nordisch Life races now uh, which are I think an hour long but we'll do that at a later date I think Hopefully they're live, and we are in split one again. I do like the Red Bull ring. I love Imola. Absolutely love Imola. I, I love the tra the classic tracks, you know. No worries, Tom. I'll uh, I'll probably see you tonight, mate, when I do the stream on Planko. Um, I've got to go and pick... Uh, the ex's car up. She's kindly lent me in it. Uh, because obviously I've got to go dentist first thing in the morning and get those two teeth done. Two bottom growlers. Um, yeah, great birthday present. <laughs> <coughs> right, temps are up. So, let's go... Hey, what? Let's let's try an old setup. See what happens. Um, aero. See, the arrows all wrong. The problem is, I need that to go down. I need that to be. Thirty-one twenty-four. Let's go with four and three. Actually, tell you what. Let's let's go back out there. Let's go with twenty-four twenty-seven load. So that was what we used last time. I need this front end to dig in more. So let's up the wheel rate a bit more. Uh, down on the rear. Down one on there. That's fine. So aero. 
Let's try that and see what happens. Uh, what were we? 24, 27. So these need to go down. Is it 4 degrees? Time of day. What's time of day? 12. So it's only going to get hotter. So. Uh, 1, 2, 3. We'll go 2 on the rear. Let's see what happens. Sorry, just got to save that. 24, 31. Let's save. Right, let's go. So we're rated last. Yay. Yep, that load cell is making a big difference. Okay, okay, so I set up feeling a lot better. Probably a bit low on the pressures. Yeah, it's a different race every week. Um, last week it was, uh, was it last week? Kyle Army. Um, I'm not sure what next week is.
crying out loud. Left side, clear left. The delay this lap on track limits. Blue flag. Car pushes it down. I don't understand why I'm getting slower.
Right, rated 24, ended up 21st, so poor showing. Why? Why, 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 why? One, two, one, two, three. One, one. We'll go with that. Arrow. That will make the difference. Uh, twenty four thirty two. Just save that one. Oh well, we'll see what happens. We had a good result last time. Um, you know, we are in the fastest split. Um, but we'll we'll see what happens, guys. The track temp is thirty two. The air temp is twenty five Celsius. B twenty one. So schedule. So this week is hold on, one more. So next week is Wat Watkins Glen. I'm pretty good there. Following week is Mount Panorama, which is the Australian track. I can't remember what else it's called. Then you got Emola. Then you've got Alton Park. Then you've got Spa. I do like a bit of Spa. Zolder. I'm very, very good around Zolder. Very, very good around Silverstone. And funny enough, I'm very, very good around Catalonia as well. Then you've got Cota. And then you've got Red Bull Ring. So a lot of the tracks you mentioned Catalyst, to be honest with you. So yeah, rated 24th, yet we qualified 21st, so there's a positive. See what happens, I'm just going to take it easy on the first lap again, and then uh, go from there, try and get in the groove. I don't know why, but I'm slower than I was when we started. Strange. You got that wrong, Jeff. Really?
I uh, gave him the place back, guys, because I, um, I overtook under a yellow flag. Basically, someone had an accident, so I just wanted to give that place back to him. A lot of people don't do that. Saw him in the mirror coming. Caught a glimpse out of it at the peripheral. <laughs> so close that was. Nice one, mate. Thanks a bunch. my race room now. Low top speed now, so I'm going to have to See, now that Mercedes, I mean, I know I got the corner wrong. Um, but if I hadn't been hit, I wouldn't have gone off. And I wouldn't be ended up with damage. It's not bad for hitting the curb, but he saw that happening and he should have just backed off. Instead, carries on and smashes me into the wall. Cheers, mate. what you do. You slow down, you avoid the cars that have gone wrong. I've got no front end guys so this is just going to be a shit show. front's just not gripping because of the damage. It is what it is.
I just can't, I can't put the de power down the corner. I've got no front grip. See my bonnet flapping all over the place. That's, that's the corner I'm suffering on. What's going on?
Right, well that was actually a result in the end there. I could have been a bit quicker because I'd have been quicker in the straight line. Um, but we were fortunate with that guy there on the beginning of the last lap uh, because he was so desperate to get 13th because he was rated 13th. So that he's now going to get a minus negative rating, which is good. Um, let's let's uh, watch this again. So we took it easy, got held up again, and then I went around the outside, the Aston decides to hit me. And then we got the run on them all. So where is this Mercedes that took me out? There's that Mercedes. And then I let the McLaren Black through because I went through under a yellow flag. Then he tries to go up the inside of me there even though there was no room. And then he tries to... So he should be banned. That is the type of person that shouldn't be playing this game. So here he is. So 
he gets hit, gets hit. I then let the guy back through because I undertook him under yellow flags. He then tries to go the inside of me. He then gets a wiggle on just there. Tries to take out the Ferrari. How was he up my backside then? When I when I went over that bump. So he's out wide there. Cheers, GT. Hopefully, yeah, there will be a, a better result this time than the last couple of times. But I just weren't happy with this this Mercedes. And if that was you, I apologise. But driving very erratically. Um, and, I mean, we're, we're going to see the incident in the second chicane. But this was pretty funny, I found, that I saw the... saw this Ferrari coming so I ah so he hit the Ferrari so this guy should be banned should be instant banned for like two weeks shouldn't shouldn't be on the track so then I've covered it off legally and then I've accidentally outbreak myself. And then he decides to just ram me off the road. I mean, the bloke should be... Should be... Anyway. We ended up with a half-decent result there, guys. Um, so, where are we? What we got? Can I sign up to anything? Because I think I'm a bit too late now. Um, five minutes for the next one in the next rank up. Do we or don't we? Do we or don't we? Or do we do a race at Circuit of America's 45 minutes? Hmm, what's the time? Four o'clock. Nordish Life's two hours away, so we're not going to be able to do that one. Tell you what though boys, it really does work the old muscles. I may look like a fat git, but I'm actually not. Um Do we or don't we go next round guys? Yeah, bugger it. Let's do let's do one more. Sign up. We'll do one more in the category up from where I am at the minute. Because we were in the rookies, we've been stuck in the rookies for a while. But now we have, um, we're back up to 5.84 safety rating. That's good. Um, bronze plus though, because me ELO has gone down. Confused why the, I guess because I'm still in here. So, maybe it's because I'm still in here. The result hasn't come through yet. Season races. Oh no, there we are. So I've got an increase of 0.11 on my ELO, 0.12 on my safety rating, but 107 championship points. So we actually didn't do too bad. Who's that Mercedes? So where is he? Oh look, he didn't even, he DNF'd after one lap. Says it all. I'll go message him. Where's his profile? Statistics. 417 races this lad has done and 22 podium rate. 22% podium rate. Which statistically is better than me. But how can you be driving in a manner like that? I'm just going to send him a message. You need to calm down. You need to... Relax. Good, sir. Thanks. 
for ramming me off the track like you did everyone else done that'll wind him up hey darren uh so we're gonna have one more race my friend uh we've gone up category now um but we had a, a bit of an incident in that last one with some guy on the first lap i'll just show you um driving extremely erratically uh, what's going on on that one so you want to keep your eyes open for a silver black and red mercedes majority silver uh it will come up in the next chicane um literally he dnf'd after one lap and he was just ramming everybody off the track literally everybody and it was quite unbelievable. But it's what it is. I ain't going to report him because I can't be bothered. Um, I've just sent him a message to wind him up, basically. You need to relax, good sir. Thanks for ramming me off the track like you did everyone else. Done. That'll wind him up. But I've done 361 races, 9 wins, 41 podiums, 11% podium rate, 71 top 5s, 164 top 10s, 3 pole positions. So, I'm statistically, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Um, I just hate this track with these cars. Formula 1 cars and other formats of games on this track I'm absolutely fine with. But this, I just struggle. So, we're going for the next class up. Same track. Uh, where are we? So yeah, if you watch, uh, watch the grey Mercedes, there he is, top of the screen. There I am pointing at the screen. Um, I wondered why the, um, Ferrari, I thought the Ferrari had outbraked himself, uh, but in reality, the, uh, guy in the Mercedes rammed him. So if you watch this now, I caught this hap I, I saw this happening in the corner of my, my eye. So I just slowed down a bit more. So he's rammed him off. And then I've misjudged my braking slightly. I caught the curb on the inside going into the next chicane. And basically he just decided to ram me up the backside as well. And then when you watch him further, so what we'll do is we'll flick to him. So I've, I've just slightly upbraked myself. But I could have still made that. And he rams me off the track. And then he does all this to everybody else. So he goes wide. Um, I don't know what he actually done after this. But before that he was just ramming everybody off the track basically. Um, I just hope someone took him out. I think someone probably took vengeance out. Because he DNF'd after one lap. So it says it all, really. Let's hope this guy, someone took him out. I really do hope someone took him out. See, look at that, the guy behind there. This is just amateur racing. Absolute, see, pits and DNFs. So he ruins my race. So you watch him from the start. So he's second on the grid, this guy, yeah? Second on the grid. Haven't had a message back, so. So it's all far. Oh, he gets hit there, tapped, but he's still still there. He's still still in it. So he's basically vengeance at this point. He doesn't give a toss. He's basically he's lost his shit. That's that's what's happened there. As you can see, he's flashing everybody. 
Joker. Takes it out on everybody else. So let's see if it is a vengeance attack here at the chicane, which. So he's gone round the outside. He's then hit them. Been a hit up the backside. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had it a couple of races ago. But now is when he really starts to be very aggressive. So I've let that guy back through. And the reason why I let him through is because I undertook him under yellow flags. So I was I was doing the rules. I was being a gentleman. So I haven't braked early for this. So I've taken nice speed through here. He's then lost the back end. Gone out wide. Tried to take the Ferrari out. And then it was this bit at the end of the start and finish straight where I saw the Ferrari coming into my rear view mirror. So I turned a little bit left and held the brakes on a little bit longer. But yeah, not good, my friend. You need to uh, calm down. And just in case anyone plays LFM and you wonder who he is, uh, let's have a look. His, I should just gone to my messages. His name is Jordan Daly number four so there you go jordan nice one mate cheers for that and here's his biggest crime and then i haven't blocked him i haven't come across him i've just taken my line done what i needed to do he hasn't given the place back to the ferrari so even though he hit him off the track you can tell he's just in vengeance mode he's got anger written across the front of him. I've then taken my line. I've then slightly outbreak myself. And then he just rams me off the track. So in reality, I should be reporting him for every single incident that he gets there and, and ban him. Basically getting banned. But can't be bothered because it's a waste of time. They won't get banned. Right. One more racing, guys. Uh, I've got to go and do a couple of bits, and then uh, I'll be Planko in later, hopefully. Provide this headache does one. Uh, where are we? So we're up with the big boys now. So please don't think I'm going to be quick. But I'm in split two. Interesting. Interesting. Now it says quarter past it starts. There it is. Split two. Uh, da, 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 split two. Right, let's go a quick toilet stop. Two seconds, guys. I, it's, no, it's not about that, mate. It's about the fact that every single person he came across, he smashed off the track. So as far as I'm concerned, it's worth a call out. I've sent him a message. He hasn't messaged back. He weren't letting people pass. He was just in pure vengeance mode. So, done. Like I said the other day, if you want to be like that, Go and be on uh, Wreckfest. Don't be in this game.
seconds left. At the end of the day, Darren, if he only did it to me, I wouldn't have called it out. But unfortunately, you saw it through your own eyes, how he was acting. So, it's not on. You know, the thing is, if I accidentally hit somebody up the backside, instantly after the race, I send them a message and apologise. Because that's how it should be. But when you purposely force people off the track and smash them into the barriers, you deserve to be in the rookies, mate, no matter how good your stats are. Alright, in the dark. Let's give it another go. Rated 23rd? And I'm going to wait for the gaps. I'm not going to mess about this time. The difference is, Darren, you don't have to call them out, mate, because if they do that in a race, they get disqualified on iRacing. On this format of racing, they don't. So, stuff them.
I've been reported for stuff where I've just nudged people and I've lost loads of safety rating because of it. Yeah, he thinks he can go round and just do that. I'm sorry, but it's wrong. Just because you think you're quick, it doesn't give you the right to smash people off the track. I'm sorry. too hot, that's right. It does, um, but it's very rare that you get uh, rain, would you say, but it does have weather conditions. Thank you. 
down to three, 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 four. Um, I think we'll leave those as they are. So we're well off the pace, which is absolutely fine. But what I don't understand is why I was doing 148s earlier today. So it's it's very strange. So I should be mid pack. Um, but no mistakes, which is good. I don't understand why I'm at 150 night time. I guess. The track temp is 18. The air temp is 18 Celsius. I'm going to get some headache tablets too soon. So. No, Joshy, yeah, it does have um, weather conditions, um, but we just haven't come across any wet races. So, oh, just a little bit more on the front. Hopefully, that will. Bring it in a little bit more for us, hopefully. It don't really matter though what I said his name was, because it's on the screen anyway, if you know what I mean. I ain't that fast. Don't bother me. At the end of the day, people have slated me for my driving, so... Still no message back from the bloke, so he's got no remorse whatsoever for what he did. So, call him out as far as I'm concerned, because it doesn't matter if you report them, because they'll just get a little fine of points, and then they'll be back on the track doing the same thing again. But my point is, is it doesn't matter if you're quick, you shouldn't have that attitude. Sorry. And the difference between this and eye racing is eye racing. If he'd have done that in eye racing, he wouldn't have even got to the pits. He would have been banned. He would have been disqualified, as you well know, Darren. So you don't have that in this game, and that's where where it lacks, unfortunately. It should have some form of. Um, directorship where it does if you do do that that you get disqualified from the race simple I mean he was just forcing everybody off the track and I am just going to take this really easy because I know I'm not quick up again everyone's hitting left. everyone Clear left. as long as we finish ahead of 24th that's all that really matters and we have a safety race 
as in no issues. Sound now that wants to, wants to turn in now, which is nice. How am I up to 15 already? move because the guy on my right won't move. Yeah, I know, I'll do alright then, won't I, mate? <laughs> but they'll catch me up, they'll overtake me, they're all quicker than me anyway. I mean, the car feels a lot more stable. The problem is, my front tyre pressures aren't very good, so I'm going to struggle with race. I mean, if they are genuinely quicker than me behind, I'll just, I'll just let them pass. I'm not going to fight them.
so far. Hey, I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, whoever's watching, we're actually doing all right. set up tweaks I'm down in the 148s now in the dark so
Late on the brakes. that guys that's racing that is racing that is how you do it No, 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 Oh well. That was all me. All me. I just went over the curb too early, which unsettled the car, then ended up on the other curb and just got through the sky. Oh, for crying out loud. That was a shame. That was a shame because I was on pace. I was doing all right then.
I had a great little battle though with that guy beforehand. That was awesome. That's a shame really, I was, I was doing really really well, but you know, it was my mistake. Cars all over the shop now, so I've just got to keep it 16. 16's fine, because my car number 23 is what my ranking is, so as long as I finish ahead of that, absolutely fine. Plus, you'll see on the list down there, I'm ahead of number 6, so that gives me even more points, so... If you finish ahead of people that are ranked ahead of you, you get better points. Anyway, it's just a shame I ran out of talent. Simple as. I don't know why, I just took the curb a little bit too early, which then jumped me across the track. I managed to save it, but then the second curb just wiped me out. It is what it is. And I've said so many times over the today, Again. I'm going to shut up and concentrate now, guys. I've got seven minutes. Like I was saying, so many times I've gone around that corner and everyone's gone off, and I haven't. And just with that slightly stiffer suspension, the bump just took me out, literally took me out. Damage on the front row is doing me in. See matey boys headlights getting brighter and brighter and brighter behind me. What's not helping is the headlights keep blinking because the bumper's falling off basically. I've got no left, left grip at all.
again. I'm gonna let him go because I can't I can't keep pace with him. And I'd rather keep ahead of Pip's rated player which is behind me anyway. Sorry mate, but I made it, I kept it on the track. It was there for the taking and I took it. Didn't touch you, didn't run you wide. Too bad in the end, then, guys. So I think that was 16th.
Let's have a look. Uh, return to garage. Time to... So, oh, it's because people are backing out. So, not too bad. I had a good first lap. And it was such a shame that I wasn't... That I'd made that mistake. Because potentially I could have been... Could have been somewhere with that. Oh. Um, it's actually given me the buzz to have one more race, to be honest with you. If I can. As long as we... Let's just click it back. Sign up. But you see how the level of player was very different? As in, you're able to give room to each other and actually do overtakes? Where previously, if you got alongside someone, you're basically forced off the track. Um, so, yeah. So I'll ban the replay on, guys. Um, we'll do it for an onboard shot this time. Uh, and we'll have one more. One more race in the daylight with that set up. Did I save it? I hope I did. There we go, guys. It, it's just a different level of driver, you know, where previously, I, you know, the battle I was having with that guy, where I, you know, overtook him just before I made the mistake, um, that wouldn't have happened in the rookies because you would have just been pushed off the track. And granted, I made a load of space palaces up from the beginning. There's that guy we were battling with at the end. But it's like this Ferrari here, forcing me over and over and over, not giving enough room. And he was rejoining the track. Though he should be in the rookies. That was me over just as I thought I was going to plow into the back of him. But we'll have, we'll have one more race. One more, I reckon. Um, and just see how it goes. The setup there was much better. It was just a shame I went off the track, basically. But anyway. I didn't mean to hit him there, I just outbreak myself slightly. But this again, his demeanour on the right hand side, I could not, I can't look left, but look right, but he wouldn't let me over to overtake this guy. So I had to force myself over. And I still made the corner, even though he was forcing me over. And didn't hit either of them. So, like with that guy I called out in the last race he doesn't need to be that person no one needs to be that person um, if you race decently and you give each other enough room you genuinely don't need to be that way as, as you saw and that was really really nice because the car wanted a turn in it was, it was good Alright guys, I'll just leave this with the replay. I think I'll just change the camera angle. We'll go with that one. And I'll be back in a minute.
strange. My rating is about minus 11, even though I finished 15. And we've rated 23rd, so very strange. Split three this time. So hopefully it'll be fairly quick. Set up. Set up was much better. So one last race guys. Um, hopefully it's daylight, not raining. We'll see. But we are currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Positive safety racing ratings out of races, so we're actually doing all right. So we just got to get the ELO up, uh, which is my actual rating. Uh, and then go from there, basically. Oh, this headache can do one. Tell me that now. But cheers for watching, Joshy. Much appreciate, mate. Even though there's only one, I assume that's you, Joshy. But we are mid evening now, so maybe we'll get a couple more guys online. Not sure. Be nice to get a top ten. About four minutes away, guys. And now we have no one watching. Obviously offended whoever was watching. Apologies.
Alright then, we're nearly ready for the next race, guys. Thanks for joining the stream. Much appreciated. And that was where I ran out of talent. <laughs> is what it is. Well, we had a good run on this guy. I had some fun with that. Uh, so next race is now live. So we'll just go to that. And you lucky devils have had five hours of racing without any ad four hours of racing without any adverts. Totally forgot to switch it on. Because I was having to mess around with the stream, so lucky you guys. So where was I? Just double check. Split three. Right, last race of the day, guys. And then uh, I just got to go and do a couple of bits. And then I'll be hopefully back streaming with Planet Coaster, hopefully. 25.34. So that was 17.17, wasn't it? save it right. let's try and do something then uh, I actually amended if I remember right the, the Aero a tad as well, didn't I? Let's go with that. Air track temperatures are increasing. Air temp is now 25. Track temp is now 34 Celsius. Right then, let's give it some, see what we can do. We are rated 8th. So not good for the ELO if we have a bad one.
Oh well. The rear tires need to be shown. On your left, play right. Up two, up three. Two, one, two, three. Twenty-five, thirty-four. Right, fingers crossed for the race, guys. See what happens. Yeah, exactly, Darren. It's um, to me. I'm out of time, unfortunately. Watch at six, maybe. I'll join the stream later if that's not too busy. Thanks for the stream, though. No worries, buddy. Much pleasure, Joshy. Sorry, I missed your comment, mate. I was obviously concentrating. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's it is what it is, Darren. It's helping my stats go in the correct direction, though, which is which is the main thing. Um. Fifth, so we need to finish ahead of eighth, basically. Uh, it, 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 like I say, it's straight chicane, one bend, two bends, and two other chicanes. It just it's it is what it is. Uh, next week will be much more interesting at Watkins Glen. Um, a much more entertaining kind of track, should we say? Um, but yeah.
nearly there though last race um hopefully fingers crossed it goes well see cool man let's hope it's uh, a good race I won't be advising on pit stops this time um Where's my mouse gone? Where has my mouse gone? Hello? Thank you. Right, let's do this. Hopefully it's a safe race, we will see, we'll go from there, see what happens basically guys. I can keep an eye on the field for you Daz, no worries. Fingers crossed, guys. There you go. Because we're down the ranks now. You're getting a different level of driver. And I'm damaged before I've even done a lap.
Dude, he's breaking early. Why is he breaking early? We'd be on about we, in in this form. If you had if you had the yellow flags like you have it in NASCAR, we we basically wouldn't be racing. Simple as really. Look how far back he is now. So important to break in this game. Nice. I'll probably get reported for that. Passing under a yellow flag, but I don't believe my steering wheel was flashing any yellow flags. So, even though there was crashes. Um,
Nice, nice. Top me, top ten guys. Close the gap for no Hold fucking reason. This is the other thing as well in GT racing. People seem to think you can just come across people when you when they're trying to overtake. And it's unfortunately it's actually like that in real life. Which I think is just wrong. This guy's going down. He's going down. Even room. Yeah, I know exactly. I gave him room. I gave him room. This guy, this guy's going down though. He's being overtaken.
Mind you, I did it a couple of laps ago. Oh, what's going on? I've got no grip. Nothing.
just cut the track. Off. I can't afford any more slip ups, otherwise I'll get disqualified or I'll get a penalty, sorry. Shot, baby. See, look, it's pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. I couldn't go any further over there and I was on the white line and he just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And this is what I'm on about, it's like people just have no respect for overtaking, the actual proper overtaking. Love to get this guy in front. Come on! Seventh place, guys. From pretty much last on the grid to seventh.
Come on! Let's do it! Last lap. I've got enough. It's fine. To be fair to this guy in front, he's made no mistakes, so apart from ramming me when I tried to overtake him. Come on guys, what a result that is. I'm tuned in now. <laughs> Couple of mistakes. Three warnings, which ain't gonna do my safety rating any good. Couple of hits, but it is what it is. Now where was it? Here. Nope, it was a bit before then. Right, he was off track. So there was no yellow flags out at this point. Oh, I should get away with that. I, was there yellow flags? No yellow flags. But then we go, then it's green, so there. I don't see any yellow flags. There's no yellow flags, so we got away with that one. And then they pop out a green to say it's clear. So the yellow flag came out after I went past. No, seventh, mate, because someone would have exited. Um, but yeah, no, we had some good, where's matey boy? So this is where he didn't let me overtake him, I don't think. So I, I outbraked him. Oh well, maybe it's a 50-50. I don't know. Anyway guys, that's me done for today in respect of racing. So that's that done. Ended on a high there, hopefully. Um, let's just have a quick look, see what the results are as they come in just so that I can leave the stream on that. But my mouse isn't working for some reason. Very strange. Uh, right, so we're just waiting. 
activating. Still waiting. Season races. Come on, what's going on? Everything seems to have locked up and stopped working now. Uh, oh, typical. Minus 0 0.32 on the safety rating because I had three penalties and we had the argy barginess of people, but zero ELO, so that stayed the same. My overall rating is what it is. Good day of racing, guys. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Thanks for joining. Uh, smash that like if you haven't already. Uh, I know we were up and down throughout the whole stream, um, but, uh, yeah, we ended on a high. So, yeah, thanks for joining, guys.